vegetables, fruit, and a Florentine base. Now let's get ready to rumble. Here we go. We're about to start doing our shrimp first. First thing you gotta do is make sure your shrimp is nice and dry. These are pre-cooked shrimp. So then just make sure that it's nice and dry, the tails are off, and they're nice and dry. That's the major part you wanna make sure. Because if you don't, the juices itself will run into the sauce and it makes it really watery. So the first thing you do is dice them up. You get nice chunks. Nice chunks. Cut it both sides so you can have nice chunky shrimp. Toss it around, make sure the one is too big. If you see some that need to be chopped up, just go ahead and cut them. You don't want them too big, but you do want them nice and chunky. I don't want them too fine because that does make this, uh, the, the stuffing a whole lot better. Add them to the bowl. All right. Get them all nice and in the bowl. Then the first thing you add is the obey. Nice and heavy. Maybe about a tablespoon. Tossing it around. That should be fine. Then you add your peppers. And I always got three types of peppers. You have the yellow, the green, and the orange. The peppers you may have had about, say about a, a nice, healthy tablespoon. Then you're gonna have uh, red onions. Say about a nice, healthy tablespoon of that. Then you have about, then you wanna add a little bit of cheese, a little bit of cheese. This is a mixed blend cheese that you want to use. It's a Mexican blend with cheddar, American, uh, provolone, and mozzarella cheese. Stirring it up really nice. After that, add a dash of Cajun. I'll say about about a half a teaspoon. Cajun, tossing it around, getting it all together. Here's your rubber spatula, mixing it until it's nice and blended well. Okay, then you add your mayonnaise. Maybe about, uh, about four ounces. It's about a half a cup. Mixing it until it's nice and stirred in. Okay, then you set this to the side and get your fish prepared. The flounder. That's going to be the best part of the whole meal. A nice, thick flounder. Let's get it out. See, we have two nice thick pieces of flounder. First thing you want to do, you have your olive oil. Put it on the cheap pan. Brush it in. Get 
your pan nice and oiled, lightly oiled, with olive oil. Then you have your, your flounder, you cut the tail off at an angle. Just the tail off. That's going to be the piece that's going to cover the shrimp. Just the tail at an angle. Yeah. Lightly season. A little old bait. Very lightly. But occasion. We wanted a little light spicy. Next thing you do. Take it, you put it on the sheet pan. You take your tails and you cut them in strips. Oh, not too bad. Now to get it together. Nice and strips. Okay, then you take your shrimp. First, you cut a center gap in the fish and open it up. Cut a center gap. Open it up. That's like a little belly. Get your belly made and you stuff it with your, sh your shrimp salad. It's like a salad. You notice how nice and thick the shrimp look? Man, it's gonna be lovely. And you take and you strip it. Which is cut strip pieces. Yeah. Okay, rinse your hands off. I'm going to keep your hands clean. And there we have it. Nice, ready to go into the oven. Like the occasion. And lightly obey. Okay, now this isn't going to take long, no more than about 15 minutes. Stick it at the top oven, oven preheated at 350. So let's get ready to make the holidays. Um, how should I say, the glaze, the holiday sauce for the top. Okay, now we're about to make the imperial sauce. We have about a, about a fourth, uh, I'm gonna say about four ounces of mayonnaise in a bowl. One egg. About, oops, about two dashes of hot sauce. <laughs> about, about a half an ounce mustard a little dash a few peppers a dash of the onions it's a dash 
about a half a teaspoon of each, mixing them really well. And one other thing, lemon juice, just a dash of lemon juice. Getting a lot of whip. This is the imperial sauce, peppers, and onions. That to the side, nice and whipped. Always gives a little taste. Make sure it's thick. It's a little lighter than I want, but it's tasting great. We're gonna add just a hair bit of mayonnaise to make it just a little thicker. Just a little bit richer. Yep, that's fine. Okay, now we're about to do the Florentine mix. We're going to take out the saute pan, heat it nice and hot. And we will do our fruits and vegetables in a minute. We're done with this bowl. All we need now is the fruit. And I'm going to show you today how to do an avocado. <clears throat> Always take it and cut it right in the middle. Straight on around. You're hitting a big seed. And you turn it up. Take the turn it like that, it comes right out. Waste a waste a little bit, but we're gonna get out of here. Cut it in half. Peel it off the sides. Put your thumb right up under. Comes right out. It's all broke a little bit. It's okay. Right under it. Comes right out of here. These aren't the freshest avocados, but they're pretty good. Okay. Nice and hot, light olive oil, a mixed green. Always want to have a mixed green first. So yeah, this is what we have a Florentine green base. This is going to be the bottom of the dish. Take that. Spinach. I'll 
dash of lemon juice. The rest of the onions and peppers. Tossing it. Stirring it lightly. Don't want to cook it too long. All you're trying to do is warm it up really nice and tenderize the vegetables itself. Lightly cooking it. As it starts to get smaller inside, you can see it as it comes all together. A little salt and pepper. Just a little extra added flavor. Tossing it. Smells delicious. Okay, now the next step. That's how butter sauce, or how fruit and shrimp is going to top it off. Regular butter is fine. Some people use clarified margarine, but butter is way better with the flavor. Okay, now you have your other shrimp. So about two ounces, two, three ounces of shrimp. Saute them. Already pre-cooked, lightly obeyed. And lightly cajun. Tossing them just until they're tender. I don't want to cook too long. Okay, now the avocados are just a garnish. You're going to go around the plate like this. All we are is a garnish. People love avocados, very good for you and healthy. These are tossed, and you add your fruit. We have pineapple, strawberries, blueberries, all together, mixed together, all in one. It's like a fruity glaze sauce with the butter, the blueberries, the blackberries, strawberries, I do and count with the pineapple. All together in one. Now I'm going to check how the fish. See how it's looking. Wow, it's looking great. It's just about done. Looking lovely. Now I'm going to let it cook for about three more minutes. Let it simmer until it cooked down, let it reduce a little bit more. Next step is using the uh, hollandaise sauce and putting it over top of the fish.
stick it in the broiler now. We'll let that brown. And now we'll get ready with the pineapple shrimp glaze to go. Some at the bottom, some at the top. Given that, no more than about two to three minutes to brown on the top, and the fish should be completely ready. Right, now we're ready for the big finale. Notice how the hollandaise glaze, just nice and brown. The fish is stuffed, looks outstanding. Now to take, put it right in the side. There you go. Stuffed flounder with stuffed shrimp and holidays glaze. It's outstanding. You can't wait to make it at your house. So enjoy. Thanks again. Flavor. I'm going to cook for about three more minutes. 